So um, I'm working on the finalization of the hole at the end of these rods that's going to accommodate this um, screw, which is actually self-tapping or self-threading. Uh, this is going to provide the mechanical connection for all three of the products. I mean, this, this particular kind of um, approach. And um, based on the specifications provided by the manufacturer of the screw, the pre-drill, uh, which should allow for the screw to screw in completely, was supposed to be a 44, um, this bit right here. And it is just, that is just not working. It's way too tight. The screws are actually snapping as I'm trying to um, screw them in. So I've actually gone all the way to a 764th, which is the bit here. These get progressively larger in diameter. So I've got a 764th and that works fine. But now I wanna see if I can refine things a little bit and maybe there's something in between here. So I just went out to purchase these 39, what I thought was gonna be a 39, 38, 37, but instead they gave me a 39, got rid, I mean, didn't, didn't give me the 38, a 39, a 37, and a 36. I really wanted the 38, so it's a, a bit of a bummer, but I guess I'll just have to go back and ask them for one. Um, I measured these um, using the trusty old caliper and then cross-checking that on a, uh, uh, a chart that tells me what sort of um, diameters I should be getting. Uh, so anyway, we're going to go at it and um, see what we can do. Uh, the other little tidbit here that might be interesting is that in order to center, I'm going to use these um, V-blocks in the vice grip, but in order to center the screw properly, and I'll show this to you a little bit later, I uh, printed out these um, these little 3D caps that set right on top of the piece, and you can see, oh, well, maybe you can't see, there's a little hole there, so that's gonna allow me to center the drill on the part. 